out of water. Um, I call this the thumb tool because it looks like a thumb, but also serves like as a knife. Your needle tool that looks like this. You're gonna a smooth rib, metal one, wire, and your sponge. I'm gonna add maybe like the tiniest bit of water. Very little. If you have too much water, your clay piece is gonna just slide off. I'm gonna cone it first, like a little cone, and then I'm gonna th try to throw it here on. I'm gonna put it in front of me and then push it towards the center. I'm gonna grab the edge of my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and just like tap this, okay? Kind of at an angle, making this kind of like fuse to the wheel. Something like that. You have any like any weird edges like this, right? They kind of like tap it. Um, I'm gonna increase my speed. Okay, this is not the fastest that it goes. Um, this is maybe like a medium, medium fast speed, okay? I'm gonna make my hands pretty wet. Um, I like to use my sponge, because then I can, I can control how much water I get. Okay, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go ahead and push from here, okay, so from here to here, this, this section. And my hand, the angle, is going to be kind of like, think of like making a volcano, okay? So not a wall, but a volcano, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and lock my elbow into my hip bone. And instead of making my arm move with my shoulder, I'm going to go ahead and use my, my hip, okay? We're going to go ahead and push from this base to force the middle rise up and then when it rise up, rises up then I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back down. So here it is, I'm going to add a little bit of water, and I'm pushing with, can you see this? This is where I'm pushing with. So I'm pushing this part in, and my clay is, is rising from the middle like I said it would. Then I'm going to go ahead and come up very slightly. And then with this section, I'm going to go ahead and push it down. Okay, now I don't want to let go of this. Because if I let go of this side, as I'm pushing it down, if I'm doing this, my hand is gonna do this, right? So don't go directly on top. You wanna still hold the side and then, and then bring it down. This base here is still putting a little bit of pressure, but this one is, over, is doing most of the work. I need a little bit more. There we go. That was with one hand. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and push. Okay, so you can see. Bring it down. 
but always, always still remain putting pressure on the side, on the bottom here, this section, okay? Okay, one more time. One hand, and then bring it down, okay? If one hand is a little bit too hard for you, just both for the clay to be centered. And what I mean by centered is that the, it, the, when this needle touches, it should touch all the way around, right? When it's off-centered, then it'll be something like this. If you see it kind of dance like that, then it's not centered. Therefore, my needle is not gonna touch the whole thing. See this? It's only touching one side. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and lock my elbow on my hip and then my hip is gonna go ahead and push away from me this way, okay? And then if you wanna use two hands, look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and work together with this part and then push it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and push. and then it feels like it's centered and then this is what not to do you are holding on to it and then you let it go and you're like why is it why is it it off centered well because when you're sent when you're pushing the clay is actually bending so that you can you know rise up and down so as you're coming off of it come off very 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 gentle and that's going to keep it in center so this is what we're gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna go ahead and make two C's. My right hand is gonna go ahead and go over my left. Use the side of my middle finger, okay? I'm gonna get my finger a little wet, slightly below, and start putting, introducing my finger. Notice that I can see the top half, okay? <clears throat> I'm not in there like this. This is what not to do, otherwise your finger is gonna start doing this and then it's gonna make it go off-centered. Okay. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and go in. And again, I'm pushing. Can you guys see from where? Like it's the side. I'm not using my nail, okay, or the tip. I'm using the side of my finger. And this is what it looks like. Creating a V. Now, some of you guys might be a little too further below, and then you're gonna create like a little thing. Just go a little to the middle, very slowly, okay? Never do sudden movements, okay? You always wanna go very gradual every time you do something with your wheel. Because remember, as the wheel's spinning, you have to wait for a full rotation before you move to the next section. Full rotation, the next section. So now that you have this V, right? The next thing is I'm still gonna use the middle finger here, and then I'm gonna just uh, spread it towards my, towards myself, okay? So then this is what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead and push. My left hand is helping me push. Now notice that there's like a little bit of like indentations and like a little, little mountain there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hands a little bit more and then lubricate that so that it can be nice and and um, slippery and very slowly again I'm waiting for the wheel to do a full rotation before I go to the next section I'm gonna go ahead and push this down okay and I'm gonna finish that base before I move on to the next section okay Notice I'm going very, very, very slow. There we go. Boom. A little bit. When I was centering my clay, I was on the left-hand side. Now that I've opened it, I've, I've migrated to use the, the, the right-hand side. Because if it's coming against me, my fingers are going to catch and it's going to dig a hole. So you want it to go away from you. So now, now I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of water on the outside, a little water on the inside, okay? And on the side here, I'm gonna create like a little indentation, kind of like for my finger to, to, to go underneath. There's clay down here, right? 
then therefore my finger is gonna be higher than the outside. This one is gonna go all the way down to the wheel head. Squeeze the base of your clay and keep that thickness. Wait a full rotation before moving upward until you get to the top. And again, we're making kind of like a volcano. So my, outs this, my right hand side is gonna be pushing a little bit more than my inside hand. Pretend that there's like a middle point here that you're like working towards. Don't let your piece go this way. Okay, let's put a little bit more water on the inside, a little more water on the outside. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and put my finger underneath here so that my finger can catch. Squeeze the base of your clay, keep the same squeezed thickness, wait for the wheel to spin a full rotation before you move up to the next section. Keeping the same squeezed thickness, wait for wheel full rotation until you get all the way to the top. Then compress that lip, clean out the water from the inside, and repeat. Each time you squeeze, it's going to be lighter and lighter. If there's any water on the inside, let's dig it out. Never leave any water on the base of your clay because that water is going to make the bottom crack. The top third of my piece opened up a little too much, so I squeeze to narrow it. Again, I squeeze the base of my cylinder, keep the same distance like you see here. This is how my fingers are stacked. This will create an even wall from base to lip. As you're squeezing the base of your clay and you're pulling up, you should see a ring that follows you all the way to the top. And this is how my fingers are stacked to create an even wall from base to top. Now I am going to wet the inside of my cylinder so that my inside hand can glide. 
I'm using my smooth rib on the outside and I curve it with my outside hand. Inside pushes towards the smooth rib to start shaping. Outside pushes in to create a neck and then the inside pushes back out to create that lip. I curve my smooth metal rib to transfer that round shape onto the cylinder. It's a gradual process as the wheel has to spin a full rotation before you can move on to the next section for shaping. Similarly to when we're centering, to when we are pulling for height on the walls, very gradual. You don't want to shape in one pass. You want to push very softly the first time, then a little more the second time, and then a little more the third time until you reach the desired shape. I will now remove the water that I added earlier in my piece compress the lip and then I'm going to use my thumb tool using the knife section and at an angle drive that sharp edge all the way to the wheel head and then I'm going to use my needle tool not perpendicular but at an angle and drive it into my piece touching the wheel head stop the wheel head cut it in half and take it off then using my wire tool I'm going to remove this piece add some water very tight drive that wire underneath until the cylinder moves just like that and then using four fingers slide it to the edge of the wheel head go underneath and peel it off and bring it onto a board with paper towel underneath then cover it make sure that the plastic is not touching your piece you want some air inside tuck the excess plastic underneath and store it for later to finish it. 